Um, well, that was ass whooping. Um, you know, they came out and, and attacked pretty good. Um, McKay was as good as advertised. Um, I thought John Gavin got caught way up in it. Uh, just couldn't do much early and then uh, they took advantage of a lot of things. I'm not positive, but I haven't sent that, looked yet, but I would say we were on the field for about 300 pitches, it felt like, and it was a little warm. And I, our guys, it took its toll as the game went along. And every time we would try to do something, they would come back and uh, make a statement and just move it a little farther ahead. And that's about where it ended up. Question? Uh, David, just uh, tell us uh, from the player standpoint out there today, uh, after you know, two tough fought games, um, what's the morale like? with you guys in the dugout? Um, I mean, we're definitely not ashamed of anything. I mean, they came out, they had timely hitting, and good for them, but uh, I still think we're going to be ready to go tomorrow. Um, it's, I mean, great series, and this is what everybody wants, so I think we want it a little bit, too. Maybe just talk about the, the heat and the humidity, how did that affect? I mean, it's a little different than... Oh, I mean, I'm sure you guys feel it out there, too. Uh, everybody does, and we're just out in the field longer, like Coach said, and that takes a toll. And... Um, you know, I mean, I think that affected a little bit, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Facing McKay on the mound today, obviously, uh, knowing yesterday uh, that he was going to make the start. Great, awesome freshman talent. Uh, uh, what was your guys' initial game plan to try and uh, try and get at McKay? Uh, I mean, like you said, he he is supposed to be pretty good, and uh, he was. He was really good, and, and we just had to stay on the fastball, I thought, and he mixed in his curveballs pretty well and was starting to get it in there, everything for a strike, and um, we were just kind of chasing some stuff and getting too passive at times, um, and he, we just weren't staying with our approach at that point. Yeah, I thought Roger had him chasing their tail. They're looking fastball, he was throwing curveball. They were looking curveball, he was throwing fastball. And he did a good job of having them, getting them guessing back and forth. Uh, I thought that was part of what happened in the middle, with the exception of a couple guys. thought a couple guys saw the ball good off him. What was your impression of your pitching staff today, Coach? Obviously, you know, 16 hits, that's a, that's a lot. But you guys did good, too. You know, you, put, you did put up 10 hits. So is there some positives that you could take away from today? Yeah, I mean, it's baseball. You know, it's baseball. Um, you know, we didn't play very well. Our, our leadoff and two-hole hitter aren't playing great right now, uh, which is putting a damper. Um, and their eight and nine hitter today uh, played really good. I mean, for me, they were the two best players on the field. They had, I think, a combined six hits and a uh, home run and some timely hitting out of those guys, and, and that hurts you. You know, when those guys come up with a two-out hit or the, the home run at the time that he hit it, uh, it put a dagger in you a little bit and made it harder to come back from. You know, I can see Ray leaving the yard or McKay leaving the yard or some of those other guys, but it, it's like I said yesterday for our guys, they're guys that you don't expect to come up and beat you, beat you. And those for me are the guys that beat us. Ray's going to drive in his runs and he's going to do what he does. Uh, Whiting's going to do what he does. Uh, but when eight and nine come up and attack you the way they, they did today, they did a good job. And, and Rosenblum, I mean, he came off the bench hacking and smoked the ball. Any other questions for David? Go ahead and excuse him. But what do you think the team mindset is going into tomorrow? Same team mindset they had going into today. I mean, it ain't over till it's over. Um, you know, yesterday they had their backs up against the wall. You know, to, we're going in tomorrow after losing, but we're both sitting one and one, and it's winning a series two out of three. We feel good about winning series. I would assume, I don't know, I think we've won like 10 out of 11 or 11 out of 12 down the stretch, so um, not everyone's a sweep for everybody. It's about two out of three, and that's why they do the tournament this way. So, you know, we're both prepared to do it, and we'll see who wins tomorrow. Do you know who will throw tomorrow? For me? Uh, Seabold. How do you feel, Coach, about what where the bullpen is, where you are going into tomorrow? The bullpen's pretty good. We, we got um, Peitzmeyer. Um, who we weren't going to use today just because he went a little extended yesterday. And Miles Chambers we haven't used yet. Um, those are our two best guys in the bullpen to be behind um, Seabold. So um, comfortable. And then, you know, a couple guys threw one inning. 
you know, a couple guys are just situational guys that we threw in there for an inning today. So it looks like uh, uh, probably going to be facing Josh Rogers tomorrow. He's another great arm. You know who he is. Yeah. Seen him. Yeah. Uh, First hand. What's the What's the game plan against him? We'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> I know that uh, he's eight and one, and the only game he lost was against us. The first game of the year that he pitched, so I'm sure he knows that too. So you know it, it'll be good. I mean, it, they pitch, they pitch well, they run well, they hit the ball hard. You know, we didn't do it well enough. We defended okay, I thought, but um, it's it's baseball tomorrow. You know, you mentioned uh, the first game that you guys played earlier in the year. Uh, that was Gavin, I believe, that we made the start that mm -hmm. actually beat Louisville there. You know, what's, how, how's he doing today after uh, kind of, you know, getting roughed up a little bit? I think his tail's probably between his legs, let's be honest. You know, he didn't get out of the third inning. Um, he was tired. Um, he was racing. He had no command. Um, those aren't things that mix very well to go out and want to succeed. Um, so we'll see and hope that Seabold can come out, another freshman that's Stepped into our rotation pretty good down the stretch since we lost Garza. Uh, he's been solid, um, and hopefully he can go out and just give us as many as he can. That's all we're going to ask him to do. Anything else? Okay, guys, thank you. See you tomorrow. Got it.